alone. <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's loves by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> <laughs>
think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Thanks, partner. Looks like you already done most of the dirty work. Hi! That looks like everyone in town. Let's head up to the mansion and finish this. They got the high ground and plenty of cover up at the house. Be careful, partner. So much for cover! Excuse me, mister. I sure appreciate all the help, partner. It won't be forgotten. I promise you that. Doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Rascal or Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy, short black hair, mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> the 
this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Oh. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. I gotta ask, mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. Speaking of that horse. <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Such a lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs>
better hope the devil get you before me, boy. Christ alive! Hell! You enjoying yourself down there? No good piece of dirt. Thank you. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 
<laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he laid with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best idea. All right, I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. 
I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> OK. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. OK, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. around the back.
rest in peace, my friend. rich after all these years <laughs> it's silk sheets and parisian whores from now on mister <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this a glass eye huh? i'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Don't think you'll be needing this. <laughs> 